What's up my little cat travelers and welcome back to another episode of Another Eden! So, as you guys may or may not know, um, last week I finally got Rosetta AS. Um, I actually bought a bunch of her treaties, which kind of sucks because I, because of some run that I did, I actually got over her treaty, so I wasted some um, currency for that, but finally got my chance script, so, and I was like, you know what, I do not have any magic users, she's the only magic user, so why the heck not, I'm gonna decide to, uh, to do our quest, so we're gonna do our quest today, guys, so let's see how is she faring, because her design is pretty cool, so... All right, we'll see. And also, I, I want to do her because I've been working on uh, some uh, bus rush and she's actually quite valuable. So, yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're going to do um we're going to do our quest and uh hopefully I can uh, do a woman's voice. Juan Morrison, Rosetta's quest. Rosetta says that inquisit inquisitors have another job. While waiting for her to get ready, Aldo meet with a man who is searching for someone. All right, let's see what we got, people. Hopefully, the sound is not too bad. So, I love her sprite. She's kind of cool. Hmm. What is... What's that? No, I, I, I'm going to try to do a better woman's voice. Ah, how cute. Well, hello there, sweetie. Is there something you want? Mew, mew, mew. Hey, hey, hey. You know, I was just thinking about some people who are small and powerless like you. It's my responsibility to get into contact with them today. Mew? Hey, hey. Sorry, little kitty. You don't understand what I'm saying. Are you hungry? I've got a small dry fish here. Would you like to have some? Mew. <laughs> How is it? Good. I like her fact that like her eyes are always closed, so I, I would have like I would have done a sleepy voice, but I cannot do a sleepy voice. Hey Rosetta, glad you're making Paul as in friend. Ha! My boy Aldo with the puns. You're doing it again, Aldo. How many times do I have to tell you not to spy on me? I'm the one who does the spying. Ah, oh, come on. I wasn't spying on anyone. I just happened to passing by. You looked like you were so happy. I didn't want to disturb you. I... I looked happy? I... I, I don't think so. Absolutely not. Heresy! Not again. There is no way I could look happy. How could I... How could you and that other one draw such irrational conclusion upon me? What are you, like a sister of battle from Warhammer 40k? Who is this other one you mentioned? Huh? Did I say something? I believe you're mistaken. Hey, hey, hey. Pay no mind. Nothing to concern you. Brow. Meow. Kiss, kitty kisses, kitty kisses, kitty kisses. You found your mother. Isn't that wonderful? If you were astray, then I've gonna brought you along with me. Something you just something you said piqued my curiosity. Something about contacting small and powerless people? How long were you spying on me, Aldo? Uh, uh I can never be too careful around you. <laughs> Guess not. Anyway, where's the small people? Children? I thought the, Inquis the Inquisitor really deals with children. Oh, about that. Hey, <laughs> I got a special project today. Not your run-of-the-mill mission. Special? What could, that, what could that mean? Oh, Aldo. You're dying to know what I'm, what, what I'm up to, aren't you? It's written all over your face. I'm just scared, that's all. And sometimes, the way you talk gives me the willies. Hehehe, <laughs> you shall find out what they must. It's the nature of Inquisitors. You might have what it take. A little bit of Shatner there. So, what do you say? 
Want to join our rank? Can I get a powerful Space Marine armor that would, you know, with a Plasma Bolter, I would be super, super happy to join the Inquisition? <laughs> I've been playing a lot of Warhammer. I'm sure I told you that I don't trust the Order of the West. Such a pity. Shouldn't you be on your way? You don't want to be late for your job. You are correct. I best go prepare quickly. You need to be preparing something? Anything I can help to do? Ah, are you sure? What kind, what a kind and dependable gentleman you are. Would you mind coming with me to the inn? There's everything, I'll be ready. No problem. And what exactly do you need me to do? Well, you see, I want you to help me change clothes. What did you say? <gasps> change clothes. And then like, I would like have blood gushing from my nose if this was like an old anime. Do they still use that trope, the blood gushing thing in anime? I don't know. Why, of course. I couldn't do it myself, but since you kindly offered to help me, I thought, why not? On second thought, I just, I just went outside. Isn't that so? Then I'll be back soon. No, wait, can I help you with that? By the way, guys, sorry about if you saw that. Um, someone was sending me a picture, I guess, from Art Knight on Discord. If you guys didn't see it, forget that. If you guys did, I'm sorry about that. I should have closed my Discord. Should you change your mind? Feel free to come with, to come help me, okay? No, no thank you. <laughs> to be fair, Rosetta is the kind of girl that would like go super freaky on you in that fashion. Like that she looks like, I don't know. I'm sure she has like weird kinks. She never stopped teasing people. Hey, you there. Got a minute? Who, me? Hopefully it was a man. Yes. Yes, you. I'm looking for someone. She's a girl called Lily. And she's about the same age as you. Or perhaps a bit older. Huh. I don't think I've seen her. Is that right? Hmm. I thought she'd be around here. Well, thanks anyway. I'll see you. I'll, if you see her, please tell her that her father is looking for her. What? Who goes around saying, hey, have you seen my daughter? No. Describe her to her, maybe? Yeah, I know. I know she's Rosetta, but whatever. Yeah, sure. Sure thing, bro. Father, huh? Well, I hope he finds her soon. <laughs> Thanks for waiting, Aldo. Oh, Rosetta. Oh. Damn, girl. With the music and everything. Ooh, like the spooky romantic music. Ooh, I like it. Whoa, what happened to you, girl? Damn. First of all, you're brave to be wearing white. White is super, like, not fun to wear because, like, you stain your pants. Ah, that's the first thing you say to a lady. You're hopeless. Um, uh, I'm sorry? You really surprised me. You look so different. But I'm really digging. But I'm really digging the new look. Well, well, suddenly you become a charmer. Mm. So, what do you need to change clothes? Has it got something to do with a special mission of yours? You got that right. These are my priestess guards. Seems a little bit loud. Priest. I thought you were I, I, <clears throat> I thought you were an inquisitor oh Aldo I did never occur to you that an inquisitor can be a priest at the same time are you even allowed to do that well now that you mention it I might be the only one to do so believe it or not I'm actually a pastor the highest rank in the hierarchy of priests highest rank you say does that mean that you're you you does that mean does that mean you're ranked higher than prey? Everything is higher than than prey. Like a rock is higher than prey. Come on. I wouldn't compare me with someone like him if I were you. Prey is just an archdeacon. He's still got a long way to go. I see. 
A very impressive, Rosetta. You honor me. However, I don't really want to advertise this since I'm, I'm using a loophole in church law to do it. That's also why I'm, I'm not pressing my luck and attempting to advance into the clergy. So let me get this straight. Your job is to capture people as an inquisitor that don't follow the law. And yet, you're someone who breaks the law to get power into the church. Amazing, Rosetta. Wow, I didn't know that. It's not easy working for the church, is it? Well, since you'll be working as a priest today, are you going to do charity, char charitable work? Yes, there's some missionary work to do here in Atreuil. Mind if I watch your work? Why, of course. Let's just wait until the time it's time to begin. Alright, so we're going to do some shady priest quests. Alright. Let's go here. Let's go down here. So I guess this is it. Yes. So many voices I could do. The western continent, a barren wasteland devoid of all the, of the blessing of the element. In these lands abandoned by the star, the god of sword and wing descend. You did a good job, Rosetta. Oh, Aldo, thank you. What do you think? Are you, aren't I just the most amazing priest? I didn't really, I didn't realize that you take the time to speak to children about the church, and the way you spoke was very unlike your usual self. You cold tsundere girl. It reminded me of how Grandpa used to read books to Fane and I back in the day. Ha he he, you never cease to intrigue me, Aldo. I didn't imagine you'd think of your grandfather while listening to me. It was your soft, kind voice that reminded me of him. Wow, Aldo, uh, it's kind of a weird. So, are you done for the day? Not yet. I have one more thing I have to take care of. Yeah? And what would that be? It's not work, actually. I'm meeting someone for a very personal matter. That's why you have to leave for now. Huh? Aldo! Whoa, what is it? There's been a change of plan. From here on, no matter what I say or do, you must stay calm, okay? I can't have any strange comment or reaction from you. This sounds very familiar. This sounds very familiar to me somehow. Anyway, I got it. My apology. Do you have time? Uh, did you have to wait for a long time? Hmm. Hello, it is I, old man. Hey, I remember this guy. No, I just got here. It's been a while. How have you been? Father. <gasps> what a twist. <gasps> hmm. Uh, <clears throat> yep. Oh, must be something wrong with my throat. A cold, that is. What's the deal with this? He is our father? How terrible. I pray for your swift recovery. Well, hello there. Did you catch a cold? You should take care of, of that before it gets worse. Keep yourself warm and... Huh? I know you. Father, have you met Halo before? Just a short time ago, I asked this young man about you. Thank you, Aldo. You found her for me. Speaking of which, you should have told me that you knew my dear Lily. Lily? <coughs> uh, He's very shy, father. He's just nervous about speaking to you. Oh, is that right? Forgive me there. Rosetta is Lily? What on earth is going on? What's the meaning? I don't know if it's a guy or a girl, so what's the meaning of this? Huh? That's a woman. 
Why, Dad? Did, did someone just say father? Answer me, Dad. Why are you calling Rosetta by my name? Huh? Oh, man. What? What? You are. What is going on? Jesus. Lily. Huh? Wait a minute. I am legit confused. She's Lily? That's right. I am Lily. What happened to you, Dad? Rosetta is my little sister, don't you know? Look at me. I'm back. Miracle brought me back from the Untrodden region. Rosetta's sister. From the Untrodden region? Untrodden region? God, my head! I am confused. Father. Relax, Father. You just make it worse. I am fine, Lily. Thank you. No! This can't be happening! Can you tell who I am? Wait! Rosetta? They're heading to Lake Tillon. I gotta catch up with, to them. What the hell is going on? <laughs> that took a weird dark turn. That's why I like this game, guys. It Sometimes it's just, there's some weird shit happening. Alright, so I'm gonna go to Lake Tillon. Where is Lake Tillon, actually? Alright, so it's out of Rattle. So I'm gonna go to Rattle. Just because I love the music, so... Wait. Bam. I love that, I love that music. Just, I, I just want to wait for the beat to start, alright? Just give me a second. Alright, I'm done. Let's go. <laughs> I love, I love this song. Remind, I love this song. This, this is like peak JRPG music, and it's awesome. Alright, so sorry guys for the delay. Alright, so I guess I have to kill this guy. Alright, well, I mean, it doesn't really matter because I'm probably going to one-shot you anyway. There you go. Alright, let's go here. For more crazy shenanigans! Oh, Dad! Why are you doing this to me? I'm Lily. How could you think Rosetta is me? Lily. Rose Rosetta, I, I, I can't, I can't believe this. It's really you. You're Lily. Hey, someone's gonna explain this at all to me. You guys are sisters, and Lily is the older one, right? That's right. I'm the real Lily. Rosetta t technically is my sister. What? What do you mean technically? The thing is, uh, the thing is, Aldo, I'm adopted. After turning it in my parents, Lily and her father welcomed me as a member of their family. Right, she did that. She turned her, her, her father and mom. It was really tragic. Father was a teacher at a seminary back then. The Supreme Cardinal must have arranged it all for me to enter the seminary. I had no idea. But then, why was your father calling you Lily? That's right, Rosetta. What's going on? Want to know the truth? Truth is, I set this all up. I plan everything so that I'll be I'll be able to replace you after you're gone. What? What? What do you mean? You wanted to replace her? Lena and I haven't haven't met for ages. Want to know why? Lily was one exiled to the Unthrodden region as a punishment for her heresy. Punishment? That's right. It was such a disgrace. You cannot imagine how shocked father was. He was not only a teacher at this seminary, but also worked as a cardinal at the time. It was only na nat natural that he nearly lo lose all his mind knowing that his daughter was guilty of heresy. This is why I, a pure, respectable, respected woman, was selected to replace Lily as his true daughter. It was far easier than I expected. I merely took advantage of the weak weakness of a man who lost his daughter. Jesus, woman, why are you so evil? Yo, I was not expecting this from Rosetta. Like, I know she was twisted, but wow. 
Hold up, Rosetta. That isn't you. You never do something like that. How can you be so sure, Aldo? Hey, Aldo. You've just built up an ideal image of me. I can't believe this. I legit can't. All right, Rosetta. Now I know the truth. You planned this all along accusing me of heresy, didn't you? No way. You accuse your own sister of heresy? She did. Rosetta accused me as part of her final test to, beco to becoming an inquisitor. Tell me, it isn't true, Rosetta, right? She's telling the truth, Aldo. The Supreme Cardinal told me I'll pass the test if I accuse Lily of heresy. It makes sense if you think about it. Accusing your own sister was the greatest chance of the child of judgment. I mean, your parents would be... Um, anyway. That's why I had to do this without hesitation. Rosetta. Oh, please. Don't you two stare at me like that. In case you have forgotten, Lily, it was you who decided to use that book. And who do you think gave it to you? Why me? Of course! In fact, I believe you should be thanking me. What's this book you're talking about? It's a devilish book that grants your wishes for the right price. It's a Necronomicon! How could you be? How, how could they be such a thing? Don't ask me. As a matter of fact, Lily knows a lot more about this book than I do. Isn't that right, Lily? I can't deny it. Then, then Talian Codex. It is what it's called. It requires a great amount of magical power to use. Without it. One cannot even summon Dantalion. However, should one manage to complete the summoning, then they can wish for nearly anything for the right price. The church believed Dan Dantalion to be a demon, but I disagree with that interpretation. It is closer to what could be considered God than the sword-wielding savior or winging beast. Our founder and his disciple, who were cast out from the church, believe such still the very end. Ah, such a lovely story for you and your heresy. Heretic? They believe and follow a vile demon, rejecting the will of our God. That lady was such was one such followers. It was the only and was the only one capable of using the codex. Hey <laughs> hey, from the church perspective, she is the most wanted among them. But we decide to let her loose once we cut their founder and his disciple. That is when I was assigned the task of accusing her of heresy. <laughs> it was very simple. The moment you lay your hand on the codex, you were guilty of heresy. I knew it worked from the very beginning. I knew you take the book to save Father Lily. What's this about saving him? It's a terrible story. Dad was suffering from, from a grievous disease and he was in bed resting for a long time. It was because of Dad that I left the church and joined the Italian's believer. This was when Rosetta turned up with a codex, not letting me in on the test she was taking. Yo, Rosetta's twisted, bro. Like, she's insane. Rosetta, the codex is. Listen up, Lily. Use this if you want to say father. At this moment, I wasn't I wasn't in the state to question Rosetta on how she got the codex. She was always such a smooth talker. I reached for the codex without questioning her and her intention. I should have known that, that the whole time that she was trying to become an inquisitor, but I was stupid. Hey hey, Lily, you're such an innocent, naive little lamb. It can be. The moment I filled the page, the trap was sprung and the Inquisitors stormed into the room. It was beyond I was beyond surprise, however, before they cuffed me, I made a wish to Dantelion. To cure your father, right? Correct, and in exchange for my life. Rosetta, I thought you desired to cure that as much as I did. I trusted you. 
But you betrayed me. And carry his favor, destroying our family. You're such a vile sister. Ah, your compliments bring tears to my eyes. It went so well, I ever surprised myself. However, there is one thing. Huh? Father and his position are no longer necessary. What do you mean? It was so relaxing being an only daughter. His position as Cardinal was how I got my, how I got my promotion. Just look at me now. Now, I've entered the priesthood, a pastor at that. Since you were a child, you always wanted to be a priest. That's what I did. And my immeasurable achievement as I inquisitor got with, goes without saying, I got everything I always wanted. That's why. I'm returning father and the codex to you. What? Could I be Dantelion's codex? That's right. Dantelion's is luck away inside me. <laughs> it was fun while it lasted, but I don't need I don't need this anymore. The church nor our god has any use for it either. You may take it with you if you wish. Use it and father will remember you. But won't it be heresy if she uses it again? Not likely. You see, Lily's already been removed from their registry. She is free to use it or leave it. So Lily, it is your call. Would you like to lay your hand on the codex once more? Yes, I'd like it back. I already fallen once. It makes it all different seeking help from a demon again. I'll continue down this path as far as it takes me. Take care, Rosetta. Rosetta? Hey, <laughs> I feel so much better now, like a weight has been lifted from my shoulders. I was quite sick of living my life as Lily and having to hold into the codex. Well, Aldo, that's the end of my responsibility. Are you hungry? Perhaps we should go and get something to eat. Tell me, Rosetta, can you be a little nicer? Huh, what is that all about? You were acting like you were trying to provoke Lily. I could feel it when you were talking about the past and when you were heading over the Codex. Are you, are you implying that was, a, that was an act? I think I know what you want, what you wanted to give her an excuse to have her father back. What do you think I'll do? What do you think I'll do that when it was Hi who took her family away? There must be an explanation. I know that that's not all there is to it. I did the right thing. She must hate me. I mean, I'm sure you did do, do the right thing, girl, but like, I'm sure you're evil. You're kind of like, you give people what you what they want by acting super evil. So that's, so that's I may be punished. But why? Otherwise, Lily won't be able to f won't be able to find anything to take out of anger on. After all the things she's been through, she doesn't need to know why I really accuse her, and she doesn't need to know what really happened to Father. I did what was best for everyone. Now all I have to do is never see Lily or Father again. That won't make anyone happy. What would you have what would you have done if you were if you were me, Aldo? I don't know what else I could have done. Rosetta. It's not like I can apologize for what I did in the past. Lily pains and suffering won't just go away. Her time together is gone, and it's never coming back. What if my needless explanation caused her to make the wrong decision? There is nothing I can do to another than accept my anger and sadness. This is my punishment. This is my way of atoning. That's all I can do for Lily. I don't think so. That may be the only way you can think of on your own, but if we put our head together, maybe there's something else we could do. I can't just see, I can't just watch you beat yourself up and not do anything about it. You really love your sisters, don't you? Rosetta, you were happy to see her back then, right? You can't just let things end with both of you hurt. Don't you understand? Aldo. 
Maybe you're afraid, but everything will be fine. I'm here for you. If you don't know how to proceed, we'll think together. If you're afraid to take a step, I'll take your hand and we can walk together. Oh, Aldo. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> I win. <laughs> yeah, sniff, sniff. I... I'm not gonna lie though, it was it was it was a touching story, touching point. Um yeah, she's a complex character and I like it. She's not like a 2D um character. It's like another Eden does kind of suffer from that from time to time of like characters are kind of like two-dimensional. Are you uh, alright, I will finish after the quest. Are you okay? Yes, yes. Please don't tell anyone that I cried. Huh. I didn't even I didn't even have to ask. You didn't even have to ask. It was raining. Well then, can you explain something? First, I want to know more about when you accuse your sisters of heresy. And how did you get your father to believe that you were Lily? Of course. You remember that father was sick and Lily became a kind of medium for those heretic, right? I do, I do. I'm listening. The truth is, I had no idea that Lily was involved until the time to, for the test. Huh? I thought something was strange with her behavior. However, I never could have imagined that she that what she was up to. The existence of the Data and Heretic was a major concern within the church at that time. It wasn't just that they rejected the divine, they were allowing the desire guide the, the desire guide them down a path where they pay a terrible price. I see. That's what I brought. That's what brought my attention. That's that's what brought about the attention of the church. The inquisitors were able to round up the leaders and, and the founders. The disciple were also taking in leaving only the medium. That's when my final test to become an inquisitor arrived. Supreme Cardinal called me one day. Your sister is under suspicion for being a medium of a demon, he said. <gasps> Jeez. It shot me, really. I couldn't believe that my sisters, who always wanted to be a priest, would be involved with heretics. However... Wow, I'm getting some, like, berserk flashback here when they, uh... When, when they have, like, that weird goat ceremony. In that, um, kind of, like, Christian arc. You suspect Lily? They got to be a mistake, Supreme Cardinal. My sisters will never do that. I know so. Calm yourself, Rosetta. I understand your feelings. It must be very upsetting to hear that your beloved sister could be a heretic. This is why I'm here speaking to you now. Huh? Rosetta, here is the final assignment to become an Inquisitor. You are going to test your sister. <gasps> test her? You are going to discover whenever she is indeed, a, indeed the medium. You will take charge of the investigation and reveal the truth. This codex will be the bait. Isn't that what I think it is? Their founder was caught with this codex in his possession. Apparently it grants wishes as long as, as an offer of equal value is made. Now Rosetta, I understand that your father has been here for, for quite some time. Yes. I'm assuming your sister is going through the same pain as you are. Which is code, with this codex, your father can be cured. No. What? To be, to, be, to be completely honest with you, your sister is in a bad situation right now. But she should you, but should you offer the codex and she refuse, then she will be abs, absolved of all suspicion. But what if she if what if she were to take the Codex Supreme Cardinal? If that is the case, then you'll know what you must do, don't you? You must convict her of heresy. But as the child of judgment, this shouldn't surprise you. An inquisitor must be able to convict anyone, even their own family members. You manage to accuse your own parents, Rosetta. 
That makes you born to be an Inquisitor. Well... Rosetta, what is that expression? <gasps> Do you not trust your own sister? What? While I understand your feelings, you should save your concern until after your sister lay on end on the Codex. Nothing is for certain, right? In fact, I was told your sister wished to become a priest. It's unlikely that such a person would be involved in heretics' hack. And clearly, the suspicion of your sisters would affect her ability to become a priest. Shouldn't you, shouldn't you do this to help her? You are her sister, after all. Rosetta, you're the only one who can save your sister. Alright, so I mean, they, they kind of like boat trap children. Uh, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. After listening to the Supreme Cardinal, I knew I had to test my sister. Jeez. This is terrible, bro. It took me a while to read to reach this decision. Perhaps I should have quit. I could have told her about the test. Thinking back now, there was multiple other paths I could have taken. But I was at at but I was at a loss at that time. Lily was a suspect, and I had my own test. I wasn't in the state of mind to think calmly and logically to make the best decision. I knew very well how strongly Lily wished to become a priest. She was very determined and she was studying it so hard. I convinced myself that she never take her part of heresy. It would be an insult to challenge her innocence. I knew I had to use the codex to prove her innocence to the world. At least, that's what I told myself. Part of me thought she might take the codex without, without thought just to save father. Perhaps Lily only joining the group to find her way to save father. I easily came up with this rationale. If that were the case, I could actually accuse her in the end. Of course, I didn't want it to. Blood related or not, she's still my sister. She knew me better than anyone else. How was it even possible for me to accuse Lily? But then, I heard someone speak. It was my own questioning voice. After all I've done, what could be what could be stopping me? I had already accused my own parents. Convicting my sister shouldn't be a problem, I said. Rosetta. Father and Lily always used to tell me that it didn't matter that I was the child of judgment. They told me I was just like them and that they were family. I was so happy to hear that. And yet, at the same time, I felt bad. I had a happy life, but my past never left me. Isn't odd that I was ca I was so capable of giving up on my own family? It was a, it was this inner darkness that led me to my eventual decision. Should Lily take the book, I would have to do what must be done. In the end, I realized it was easy to say, but hard to believe. It was like a war of contradiction idea in my mind, a chaotic mess. After all that, I stood there in front of Lily and did the deed. And she turned, took the book. The moment she took it, my mind went blank. I wasn't prepared for it at all. I couldn't even speak. I couldn't even comprehend what I had just seen with my own eyes. Now that I think about it, asking her to take it was a terrible thing to do. Of course she did. I know because I would have done the same. Anyone else would have figured that out. The, the, the shock numbed my body and I couldn't move. I felt that she had betrayed me. I blamed her for taking it even though I believed in her. While I stood there, mind, mind a blank, the Supreme Cardinal and the Inquisitor burst into the room. Seeing that she would be arrested, Lily suddenly spoke to the Codex. She wished to save father's life in exchange of her own. Then Tanya heard her wish. Once thing calmed down, Lily was arrested. You did well, Rosetta. Now we have brought 
in all the members of the embassy. However, it is most unfortunate that we couldn't stop her from using the codex. Your father is now tainted with the heretical power according to her laws. You must also accuse. Stop, please. I passed the test, didn't I? That makes me an inquisitor, right? In that case, I want to be in charge of judging my father. Please, allow me to do this. I was desperate. And it, and it was all I could do to save father. In the end, I was able to, pr to prevent his judgment. And yet, Lily was taken away, and we couldn't see her again. She was punished along with the other heretic and their founders. That is, that, that's so sad. Father was cursed, but Lily was sent away for punishment. This led father into a dark depression. Somewhere along the line, he started thinking I was Lily. Some months later, he smiled again as he spoke to me. He said, Lily, how was the priest exam? Does that mean what I think it does, Rosetta? Yeah, I found myself taking the priest exam not long after. Achieving her goal was the least I could do after sending her into exile. Now, I live to atone for my sin, Aldo. I strictly punish everything because I don't want anyone else to suffer like Lily did. The Codex was a token of my apology and I hope it helped her regain her life. I was ordered to destroy it but I secretly kept it as a reminder of my past sin. Sorry, it seemed I was rambling on and on. I hope I didn't bore you. Did you get a go the whole picture Aldo? Nothing changed the fact that I took so many things from Lily. Which is why I'm so happy that she got father back. But Rosetta say your father used a codex to remember Lily. What happened to his memory of you? It may disappear. Ros Rosetta will no will no will not exist in his memory. I'd be lying if I said it wouldn't hurt me, but there's no other choice. If it is the only way to restore the relationship between father and his daughter. I don't think so. Your father won't forget you so easily. Aldo. I don't know how to explain it, but I just know so. There's still hope, Rosetta. And I can't just watch you give up and throw everything away. I don't know wh whether I should say this or not, but isn't the way? It, but isn't there a way to do something about this? You're unbelievable, Aldo. How can you be so optimistic? But perhaps you're right. At the very least, we can see this through the end. That's what I like to hear. Let's go back to Acte then. Wow, alright, so this quest is taking like a lot of turn and twists, and I actually like it. I like the fact that they uh they they're making the characters like really believable and like interesting to uh to do quests for. Hey, aren't you the girl from earlier? Dad, don't you recognize me? What are you talking about? I'm not your father. That's what you think. But don't worry, father. In a moment, you'll remember who I am. Ugh, what's that light? Ugh, where did you get that book? What's that? For some reason, I feel like I've seen this book somewhere before. Oh, right. Dad saw the codex before. The book cures your illness. It's okay. You can relax, Dad. I'll help you remember everything. What? Help me with what? Oh, now I remember. This book cured my sickness. How strange. Why couldn't I remember that till now? Well, there's no need to worry about that. There's no need to worry, young lady. I am healthy as I've ever been. What's that? There's nothing I need to be cured of. Perhaps physically. However, you have an even bigger problem that needs healing. But what happens if I don't fix it? 
Young lady? I had considered it. Would Dad be happier if you remember me? I was exiled and I can't become a priest or even return to the church. What's, what good would it do him if he has to get his memory back? He's already having a happy life right now with Rosetta. And what happened What happened to Rosetta? If I were to use a codex to alter his memory, what would happen to Rosetta in Dad's mind? A young lady. You see... Oh, nice! Dante, Dan, Dantelian. Who? What is that? You who have summoned me. Make an offering and you shall receive what you desire. I'm returning Father in the Codex to you. You may take it with you if you wish. Use it and Father will remember you. What are you waiting for, girl? Now, name your wish and make an offering. My, my wish is... Where's Lily? Over there. My wish is... My wish does not need you to grant it. What did you, what did you say? What are you doing, Lily? What are you waiting for? I told you that even if you use the codex, you would you wouldn't be charged with heresy. I understand that. I'm not afraid of that anymore. That's not why I'm not using the codex. Then what? If I were to use the codex Rosetta, you might disappear from Dad's memory. That's none of your concern. Why would you care about that? Have you forgotten what I did to you and Father? I was confused when we spoke at Lake Tillon. It was really shocking to see Dad and Dad said after so long. I couldn't think straight. That's why your words hurt so much, at least for a while. But then, I realized you didn't actually mean any of it. I could tell just by looking at you. What's that? Huh? I couldn't figure it out. All of it, about the test, about Dad, about your feelings. I tried to put it all together after our exile to the Undrogan, Undrodan region, but it was no use. But now, I think I know how you feel. You purposely said these things knowing I'll be upset, didn't you? You're hiding something deep down from me, aren't you? Well, you can't fool me. You, your offer made yourself the villain since you were you, young. Re I remember that kitten you love, but you refused to play with it in front of us. You didn't want us to see you were having fun. You act just like the old Rosetta back then. I don't want to make Dad forget about you. That's why I'm not going to use the Codex. But if you do that, Father will never remember you. I'm fine with that. I may not remember. He may not remember the me from before, but he. But we can create new memories together. From now, it is going to be Father, myself, and you, Rosetta. The three of us will be together. Huh? I see that you are no need, that you are not in need of my power. Your powers are great, but we don't need them this time. Then I have no choice. What's happening? You once gave me a most tempting offering before. If you do not have a wish, then I will ensure you need one. Ah! Lily! Stand back! We can, we can handle this! Yeah, let's do this, Rosetta!
All right, so let's one shot this dude real quick. There you go, he's dead. <laughs> oh, I love you too, Kia ass. I am convinced that your powers are indeed formidable. From now on, I am your servant. I can't believe that what I just saw. The demon Dantelion just become, just became your servant. <laughs> I guess, I guess that means Dante will grant me wishes, right? Rosetta? Give me the orders and I shall fight. Give me an offering and I shall grant you a wish. Hey, hey, I see how it works. Well then, I want father to get his memory of Lily. Rosetta, what are you saying? I told you that dad might lose his memory of you. That's not what I that's not what I want. Aren't you just troublesome? Unfortunately, this is just me being selfish. And I have no obligation to listen to you no matter what you say. Rosetta Lily, I always wanted to apologize to you. Finally, I can atone for what I did. Anyway, Dantelion, it's time. Take my offering and grant my wish. Stop, Rosette. Your wish has been granted. In return, I shall take this man's memory of you. Rosetta! Ugh! What was that like? Dad. Huh. Oh, Lily, is something wrong? You look sad. <gasps> Dad, how do you feel? Do you feel different? Huh, huh, let me see. Well, I feel a little bit dizzy. It's like I've just been waking up from a very long dream. No, that's not right. My apologies, sir. My apologies, sir. There was a small explosion of magic. Are you feeling alright? Why, yes, I am fine. And you? You must be the new priest. May the divine bless you. Dad, don't don't you recognize her? Thank you. Thank you, sir. Now, if you'll excuse us. Wait a moment, if you please. Yes? This might sound odd, but for some strange reason, I think I know you. <gasps> it's weird, I know, in my head, that you're a stranger. But something tells me you were once someone important to me. That's... How kind of you, sir? Thank you for your word. Does that, does that mean you are... But I'm afraid you're mistaken. It'd be a god blessing if you were right. However, this is the first time you and I have met. You must be conf you must be confusing me with somebody else. Is that right, Aldo? Rosetta. Aldo, Aldo, Aldo. Do you know what to do? But Rosetta, your father seems to remember you. I don't want to. I don't want to do anything stupid that might spark his memory. If his memory is returned, the demon may consider the price unpaid. So please, please just do this for me, Aldo. Alright. Right, Aldo? She's right. You, have, you two have never met. <laughs> see? I see. Sorry for disturbing you. There's no need to apologize. Well now, we better get going. Shall we go back to Pal Pasufa's palace, Aldo? Rosetta! Oh man! Oh. Oh. 
Yeah, I I'm I'm not a fan of these topic. I I like these type of quests, but like they they pull a heartstring for me. Um, yeah, like when uh, you like like Final Fantasy X is a good example. Like you know when like they don't really remember the the, the main characters and everything. All right, guys, the conclusion of this quest and a little review after. Are you sure you did the right thing? Of course I did. This is the way the family is supposed to be. It's only logical that I return what I took away. Plus. I have my own. I have my. I have my parents a long time ago. I'm fine even if my father forgets me. Rosetta. <clears throat> Rosetta. Rosetta. <gasps> Lily, what's it? what happened? It's father. Did some. Did something happen to him? There you are. Hello again, hello again, sir. Is there something else you want for me? Well, you see, I just had to catch up to you. Something doesn't make sense. Huh? You know what? I really think I know you. What? You do? Yeah. Yes, you were the girl who took care of me. You, you, you were the girl who took care of me. You were the girl who took care of me, pretending to be Lily while, while she was missing. Am I correct? I I I had trouble. I, I was stuck. I was shocked. <gasps> uh, well, Rosetta, Lily. Do you, do you, do you remember who I am? Of course I do. I wasn't too sure though. For some reason, my memory was a blur. I wanted to thank you for taking care of me for such a long time. Oh? No, it's fine. I didn't really do that much. You're, su you're such a kind and sweet girl. You helped me without even a single complaint. Now, I want, I want you to tell me something. What's your real name? I'm, I'm Rosetta. I see, Rosetta. I'm sorry it took me this long time to officially meet you. It's fine, really. Please don't apologize to me. Ha, huh, yes. Now I remember your face. Right? It felt as if I've been seeing you through a thin filter all this time. Again, I owe you an apology. And more importantly, thank you, Rosetta, for everything. Aww. What a good ending to the quest, guys. What a beautiful ending to the quest. A long quest, but what a beautiful ending. This stays, this stays a secret. Got it, you two? No one has to know I cried. By the way, I on earth did you father remember you? Well, this is just speculation, but perhaps Dantelan only took away Rosetta from father's memory. What do you mean by that? What got taken away is the memory of Rosetta as, the, as his adopted child. Instead, his memory of me as Lily still remain. Huh. I guess the demon decided to leave the memory of you from the time when you took Lily's place. Perhaps I should find out whenever there is a kind of side of Dantean as well. After all. <laughs> Are you trying to find out a way Dantean's really is deep down? <laughs> I'm only joking, of course. Hey, Rosetta. Yes. I want to thank you again for helping Dad get back his memory of me. Also, I must apologize. You're from the church, but I made you use the codex. I believe that makes you a heretic too. <gasps> what's, with, what's with the apology? Why would that make me a heretic? Huh? I thought using codex was declared an act of heresy according to the church. It is indeed heresy if the parts of, of that Talion is used by a disciple. But I am a disciple of our God. In the sea within. 
Therefore, the Codex is just a tool of convenience for me. It is not at all heresy. <laughs> I should have known you say something like that, Rosetta. You crazy devil, always bending the rules for your own account. Because you're corrupted nun. And you're spooky and you're scary. Jeez, Rosetta, you're practically an expert of getting away with, with caution trouble. Anyway, I'm just glad that you're going to be okay. <laughs> How kind of you to say that. You got nothing to worry about. Not true. There's still one thing I'm worried about. Oh yeah? What would that be? Aren't you worried about how to get by on the on the continent? If you need to work to find work, I can help you with that. Don't be silly. I'm worrying about my little sister, of course. Rosetta, I'll do my best to make sure that Dad will rem will, will remember you someday. We'll be together from here on. Uh, from here on. Lily, are you sure about this? I am the one who exiled you. Do I deserve this? Do I deserve to be with you? Of course. You're my sister, and that's all that matters. We can't start over, Rosetta. We can be sister again. Or more like best friend. What do you say? Rosetta? I'd like that, Lily. Hey, hey, I'm sorry for putting such a burden on you for so long. You know how important you are to me, Rosetta. Jeez, you're embarrassing me. Anyway, welcome back, Lily. I missed you. Wow. All right, guys. What a crazy quest. So I got... um. I got Rosetta's new uh, new quest. Hopefully the sound is not going to be messed up, guys. But what a quest. What and everything. So hopefully you guys like the quest. Um, As for me, I kind of did. I'm not going to lie. Um, I really like the fact that they're going a little bit deeper on characters. On characters development. On like how they... um, Like how most characters are not just like a 2D story. And it's kind of like some other JRPG. Or even like gacha games. Like most of them are just like... They have like one or two trade, which is, you know, not bad. But like, I'm happy that they're doing that for another Eden. Like, they're really going in depth with characters. Um, yeah, so I'm super, super happy about Rosetta's quest. Um, honestly, it was it was, it was was really cool. Um, I, li I liked it. A lot of twists. I still think that even though she has a demon, like she's shadow here, I still think she's evil deep down. But that's like for another story. Like, maybe she's going to get like a, uh, yeah, not, a, not another side, but like a um, extra style. Maybe some other time. Kind of like... Um, Melina, hopefully, maybe we'll see. But I do really like her. A lot of people uh, in the community also like Rosetta. Um, she's up there. She's up there. Um, but yes, guys, thank you for being with me. Make sure to uh, like my page and follow me on social media. I would really appreciate it. And um, really love the quest. I'm I'm still shook a little bit. And I'll see you guys uh, next time for more another Eden uh, side quest. Peace out.